Hey, welcome back to Mobility Project. I've been getting field reports that many of your quads are just blown out. And when uh, you're feeling smoked in the quads, all things go down. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to recover those things, open up your hips so you can squat again. Because frankly, squatting is like breathing. Check it out. We've got uh, basically a setup for the couch stretch up against the wall here. But I want to try to do the super couch, which means that I'm going to try to get a band right here in my ghoulie. Pulling that hip into the front of the socket. To mobilize extension, you gotta pull that hip to the front of the socket. So it makes a big difference. You, look, <clears throat> these, the front of your capsule is called the wide ligament, basically, of your hip capsule. And it is thick and thick and super, super ropey. Because it's designed to be able to kind of handle this, this resistance and, and uh, kind of win the legs and extension. And, and when we put a system under load, if it's really stiff, you know, in one section, then everything else is going to stretch, but this is not really going to take the load. Everything is going to continue to stretch around it, so I've got to bias that high capsule. So I'm going to load this up. It goes right in the ghoulie, which is a technical term for the gluteal fold. Ghoulie. Knee goes to the back corner. Ah, already not liking it. And you've got to get into the wind-up position. If your foot is off, it's never quite the same as having that foot in kind of full plantar flexion. Then bring that foot up. Belly is always tight, always going to protect the back. It's a common mistake people make, they immediately overextend. So the key here is to spend some time in this position and press side to side. Remember, I'm looking for a little internal rotation, looking to be able to get that knee closer to my midline, not let it fly out to the side. I can back that foot up a little bit. I want to try to squeeze my butt cheek and press that hip to the ground. Contract, try to drive the knee to the ground, release, and come a little bit further, hang out. Whew, not okay. Squeeze your butt, knee into the ground, release, come out. Now I think the cow stretch is one of the ones that people do not do long enough because it's, it's heinous. So then once you're feeling saucy, start climbing up. Belly is tight, squeeze your butt. You'll notice that I start to fly over the side because my quads are trash right now. Belly tight, squeeze up, keep pressing, keep looking. And over time, that's going to wind up. Remember the scale for this, if you don't have the band, just do it without. If you need to pull your knee off the ground a little bit, that's okay. If you just need to get into this position, that's okay. But we're looking for five minutes a leg. That's a lot of suffering. Most people get waterboarded in less time than that. If at the end you're still feeling a little tacked down, pull the cross ball right above your knee. This is the super patellar pouch. This, this little tissue gets matted down and stuck. It makes it difficult for your kneecap to start moving around. Just uh, kind of lay that hard ball right there and just kind of run that foot, heel to butt, for a minute or so. And that's what's on tap. Get those gams recovered because you're going to need them tomorrow. Why? Squatting is everything. Talk tomorrow.